Welcome to the Ten Acre Woods. My name's Mark. This here is my wife Tara and my daughter Tiana. And today we are going to do some horn trimming. Uh, so if you've been watching the videos, uh, I've mentioned in the past that Bronwyn, our sheep, uh, she has the uh, the rounded uh, horns, the ram horns. And uh, what they're, what's happening is as they grow, uh, they're getting a little close to her neck. Uh, so what we want to do is we want to trim off a section of those uh, just to make sure that they're far enough away from her neck and uh, maintain it as the horns grow. Uh, so the horns do grow, but they grow from the base uh, and they push out uh, and they, um, they'll curl around as they go. So they're continuously growing, uh, but they grow from the base, not from the end. It's like a fingernail. Uh, yeah, kind of like a fingernail. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take off a section of that. Uh, the horn itself, uh, there's a core that's on the inside of the horn. Uh, and it goes out probably about three quarters of the way out. Uh, so that's where the blood vessels are. Uh, so we want to stay away from that section. So we want to make sure that we're taking it back uh, far enough that it's going to make a difference. We're not going to have to do it uh, next year. Maybe we'll wait a couple years. We'll monitor it. Uh, but we don't want to go too far back where we're going to have uh, a problem getting into that core and then causing bleeding. Uh, so we've got some tools and everything already. We'll go through those tools. Uh, we're also going to have some uh, blue coat, which is a uh, antiseptic, uh, just in case uh, we do get a little bit of blood. I don't anticipate that we will, uh, but uh, better to be prepared. All right, we have to find our subject, our patient. She appears to be what, outside? Yep. Oh, there she is. <laughs> right there. Uh, so, yeah, wait for to come in. yeah <laughs> we'll have to. Uh, We'll have to go. She's pretty good. You can get fairly close to her, but um, she might get spooked because uh, animals tend to know when something's up. <laughs> it always seems to be the case. All right, so Tara has called the animals to go in. And it's a good thing that they come when they're called. See, it's almost like she knows something's going on. Says, so what's what's happening here? <laughs> there we go. She's in. Well, of course, yeah, and she's right in there. <laughs> uh, you know, don't you? You know something's up. <laughs> So here's the horn you can see it goes around uh, onto each and it goes right into her neck. Sometimes these horns will actually wrap around and come just underneath the eye and come out. Uh, it all depends on how they grow. Uh, so this is, we don't believe that they've been trimmed in the past, uh, but it's basically just touching her fur on this side uh, and we want to make sure that we cut it back. Uh, I would say probably a good inch. <laughs> All right, so the tools that we need for the job. So the first, um, the first one we need is uh, it's a um, it's a wire saw, and it comes in this spool here. Uh, and I'll put a link to uh, to where you can pick this up uh, down below in the comment section. Uh, you can either pick this up or you can pick it up as a set. Uh, so these are the two handles, and you simply uh, turn it and it opens up this gap here and then when you tighten it back down it uh, tightens on to the wire just like so and that gives you a nice secure now this stuff here is a wire it's not um, it's not really sharp but when it comes into contact with bone like material then it creates the, enough friction uh, that it's going to cut through so we'll take the other one here, open that up, gonna tighten that in. Okay. Good. All right, so there we go. We've got the two handles. Uh, it comes in, I think there's probably about 15 or 20 feet in this spool. Uh, so we cut off about how much we're gonna need to go back and forth on. Great. Um, but, um, 
uh, the problem is that I've seen Levi, don't play with my tripod. <laughs> the problem I've seen in the past is when people go to uh, use this type of product, the horn can be a little slippery, a little smooth. Levi? <laughs> oh, Levi. All right, let's try that. Is that better? He okay, totally hit the go. switch. I know. He he undid he the latch, it. the lock. Look at him. Look, yeah. He uh, knows. He, these smart guys. Um, so it's fairly smooth. And what you want to do is I'm going to take uh, something like this. It's a triangular type file. I want that sharp edge. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to nick that edge on the back uh, so that this wire will slide into it. Uh, so that I'm cutting right exactly where I want to. Uh, so I think that's about it. We have a file here just in case we need to take off some of the sharp in case, edges. In case there's any bleeding, same as you would do on dog's toenails. Um, this is called quick. <laughs> Look at the... I know. Tara's holding the, the powder. Tara's holding the tripod because Look Levi is uh, is being a he's goof. Like, he's like <laughs> holding the little knobbies. What are you doing, buddy? You just <laughs> but he gently grabs the little knob. Yeah, no, he grabs the uh, the tripod, has little locks on the legs. So he was flipping the locks over, and of course, the leg collapsed, so it would fall over. All right. All right, so we're going to get Bronwyn. Tiana here has been monitoring the door. Uh, we'll bring uh, Bronwyn out. Tiana is going to take over filming, and uh, Tara and I will do the trimming. I took the camera off. Oh, no, he's, he's at the wrong angle to get it. Are you going to get it, or are you going to get the other one? <laughs> oh, he's going to get that one. Yeah. Look at him, he's just he's a smart little guy. <laughs> yeah, and just get close enough that you can see. Here, you want to straddle? No, straddle? I don't think so. Go this way. I, I figured you could go this way. Okay, right? Levi, up for a ride. Levi. I'm better off this way. Okay. So, if you're better that way, then what I'll do is then I'll just get down and I'll start so, do we want to go into Roxy's pen? Because there's so many in here. Yeah, there's lots of action in here, isn't there? Yeah. Uh, so I figure if we take it off here. And we're going to get Hanny. Hannibal with and nose Levi. Well, we could go, we're yeah. In the barn. Let's go into the other pen then. All right. So I figure probably right about here, right? Mm. In. So just, oh, that went easy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this, it's not going to take, I don't anticipate it being long. So you can see the notch here, that little notch that I've just created. And this wire is just going to slide in and into that notch so I can get it started. All right. Whoa. <laughs> Wait, put me against the fence. Okay, yeah, that'll work. There we go. <laughs> Uh, all right, so we're in the notch. All right. And we're through. That's nice. Okay. That was very nice and smooth. So, but this stuff's uh, almost, uh, you know, you don't want to use it too often because it'll do yeah. this with the friction, right? So here, no bleeding, no nothing, and that was a good inch that we just took off. Yeah. So that was, uh, so you can see, that'll be much nicer for her. Okay, get All right. before she Other puts side. me through the fence. <laughs> You're fine, Bronwyn. Grab my file here. Oh! oh. <laughs> when Bronwyn first came in, she didn't like people. So she won't, she won't like this after for a bit. Yeah, she's not in any kind of pain no. or anything. She's just, it's she just, doesn't know what's going on. It's just like cutting a toe, like a fingernail. All right. Oh. And I'm holding, she can't, I'm holding her head, so she's not feeling the pulling at all. Oop. Oh, now I went and done that. Yeah, yeah we'll so I'll take the file. Yeah. And we'll just uh, clean that, clean that up. There, there we go. go. 
and this actually isn't sharp no, or anything not. at all, so it's good. Yeah. Uh, no blood or anything that's uh, that's in there, so we don't need to put any kind of antiseptic on it. Uh, it's all good. No. We probably could have gone back a little bit further, but I think that's probably enough. Uh, we'll monitor it, and maybe next year we may have to cut it back, maybe in two years, depending yeah. on how her horns grow. All Which right. You want to avoid the. We're good, okay. so we'll. You got her? Yeah. You're okay, right, Bronwyn. Out of the way. Out of the Come way. on. Out of the way, girl. Look, Bronwyn, you're okay. Look, there you go. Good. Girl. You're free. Oh. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> There you go. Now, now you're going to be scared of us again. Yeah. But it was all, it was for your own good. <laughs> so that is how easy it is to trim horns. Uh, so of course, a lot of times you think of oh, you know, I got to trim horns. How do I do that? What do I do? How long is it going to take? Is it dangerous? Uh, so I try to answer all these questions here. Uh, I had seen it done before by another uh, YouTuber, uh, but what he didn't do is he didn't notch the back of the uh, horn. Uh, so when they were cutting, they ended up cutting a little bit too low and they had some blood that came in. Uh, so I figured, oh, just take a file, uh, take a little notch out of it. You got it perfectly exactly where you want to go. Uh, so Bronwyn, she came in, uh, I think it was about two, possibly even three years ago now. Time flies when you're having fun. Uh, and she was at a place where there were other sheep, uh, breeding sheep, uh, and she had suffered from prolapse uh, a few occasions, pretty severe prolapse. So they didn't want her uh, at that area, at that location, just to make sure that she didn't get pregnant. Uh, she was kind of done having her little ones. Uh, so they contacted us and we brought her in. And she is quite uh, the addition to the family. Hey Bronwyn, how's the horns now? Oh, look at that, what a beautiful job. <laughs> She's not even going to look at me. <laughs> oh, well, you know, it'll take a couple days before she comes back. <laughs> uh, so we have uh, Turbo here and Hannibal. Hannibal, your wool's fallen down. Oh, look at that. Yeah, we haven't, we didn't shed him, shed him, we didn't shear him last year. Actually, he hasn't been sheared, uh, just because his wool grows a little bit uh, slower than, um, than the other ones. He's older. Um, he is a little bony uh, and um, you know, he's pretty old so we wanted to uh, just make sure that he had his coat on so he's a little dirty. Lambert! Lambert's been having gas every so often. Uh, you may have heard him burping in the last video. Hey buddy, you want some uh, baking soda? Hey, you got some gas? Uh, so it's a good idea to have baking soda out for them so that they can eat. Uh, I'll probably go and grab some baking soda for him, uh, give it to him, uh, and basically he's just got some gas. So we'll go and we'll do that. We've got the rabbits, uh, they're kind of out and about in here, and the Muscovy ducks. You know, we want to let you guys out and, and get on that pond, we just have to wait for it to uh, melt. And so it's, uh, you know, the forecast is still looking cold for the next little while. Uh, but, um, you know, I'll look back at this in a month's time and say, oh, you know, it's finally here. Hopefully in a month's time. <laughs> uh, so coming in, we've got the alpacas here. Uh, Paula, Marley. How you doing, Marley? You're looking a lot better. Uh, you had all kinds of uh, hay. They, they get this. It's like they stick their, hay, their head right in the hay. Uh, but they actually look pretty clean. He's got some on his back here. <laughs> And Roxy. So Roxy is still kind of a work in progress. As you can see, there she goes. Uh, she uh, doesn't take too kindly to people around her, although she is getting better. So when Tara goes in and feeds, uh, she, uh, she's not spooked so much as she, as she was when she first came in. And so and that's what's important. We just want to make sure she's comfortable. Right, Paula? Yeah. Petunia? Hey, girl. Hey girl. <laughs> now we don't dehorn our goats. Uh, and there's a few reasons there. Of course, you can get into medical problems. Hi, Coco. Uh, medical problems with um, debutting. And uh, what that is, is when they're young, they basically just burn off 
uh, where the uh, the horns come out. Uh, the main problem is with male goats. Female goats, not so much, uh, because the base of the male horn is quite a bit larger. Uh, so it... Um, it can be an edge can be missed uh, and they can develop a skur where only a section of the uh, the horn comes out <laughs> who's that oh you're back in here now okay well I'll go get you some uh, I just got trampled by turbo I'll go get you some baking soda <laughs> uh, so another reason is hi Blackie uh, is they make good uh, handles just like you saw with Pronwen hi girl so, and you can usually grab their uh, horns and, uh, and then just guide them around so it's a lot easier. Um, some people I've seen, they've put noodles on, uh, on the goats uh, because they have young kids. So, of course, if you have young kids, uh, you want to watch for that. The male goats primarily, but you can get some, uh, some females that are a little pushy, right? But you're pretty docile, aren't you? <laughs> uh, I see the pigs are out, not laying around. Okay, so what I've done here is, uh, this is just regular old baking soda, and I've uh, put some into this cup. Now, he may just eat that as it is, uh, but then what I've done is, just in case, I've got some of this, which is uh, basically the alpaca feed, so it's not a grain. So we want to stay away from the grains, because that's what's giving them the gas. Uh, so those, uh, that alfalfa food is essentially... Um, it's essentially like alfalfa. Okay, where'd he go? What are you doing, Petunia? Is the hay better over there? <laughs> Silly. Hey, Lambert, here, look, what's this? Look, what's that? Oh, good, eh? Yeah, there you go. Oh, I think he's looking for, uh, he's looking for some grain. He says, where is it? This is just baking, baking soda. <laughs> All right, so I will just pour some of that in. Okay, yep, there we go, there we go. That worked. Now I just have to watch the other ones from coming around. Okay, no, no, <laughs> Put this in my hand as I'm fending off. Okay, here you go. There you go, buddy. There you go, just big enough to for your mouth, isn't it? <laughs> oh, look at this. Now I've went and done it. Everybody's, uh, everybody's, what's going on here? Here, bud. Quick, quick, before anybody else gets it. <laughs> uh, okay, there we go. I think that's probably good enough. He got, uh, he got a good chunk of it anyway. <laughs> uh, one more shot, Lambert. Here, quick. Quick before anybody else sees. They're all checking the ground for for stuff that's fallen. There you go, good boy. Oh, that's good stuff. Uh, all right, <laughs> and that's that. So we'll just monitor him every uh, every so often. He does get into those gassy states, uh, but um, having baking soda uh, works well, just like humans. Uh, so everything's put away, put the baking soda back in for another day, and uh, since I'm inside, might as well give you a little update. Look at the crew. The crew's waiting. They're saying, what is going on? Uh, you know, Tiana came out here and, uh, and shut them down, meaning, you know, made sure the, the food, the water was all topped up, everybody was good, turned out the lights, and this is exactly what Sheldon did. Um, we watched from, because we've got this camera on here, uh, and she was out here for quite a while, so we, I thought, well, I'll log in and, and see what's going on. And there was Sheldon going round and round and round. That boy cannot stay still. <laughs> so he's got, the amount of energy he has is hilarious. Hey, hey Billie Jean, Billie Jean, Holly, George. Yeah, so you are one of a kind, little buddy. <laughs> so, you know, they were outside that one day. Uh, they've kind of been inside because it, it got cold again. Um, but, um, you know, once things uh, start warming up again, we'll get them out. Uh, we want to put Roxy uh, in the front area uh, with... Um, well, the donkeys are going to be heading out in the next uh, week or so. 
so they're going to be gone, and then there's going to be the two boys up there, Carl and Billy. Uh, so I think what we're going to do is we're going to take Roxy, and we're going to bring her around uh, and put her in the larger of the two buildings up front. And then we're going to take uh, some kind of fencing or electric wire and kind of run it across to make uh, a pen uh, up there for her. So she'll have a smaller area. You don't really want to release her out into the front. Uh, we did that with Molly a few years back and she had uh, a little one, uh, Manya and Molly. Sorry, Molly was the little one, Manya was the mom. Uh, so she had her up front and it was probably, well, it wasn't, it wasn't quite this cold, but it was fairly cold at night uh, and um, we couldn't really get too close to, uh, to Molly. Uh, so we've learned from that. Uh, we want to make sure that she's in a smaller area like a stall. Uh, we could potentially even bring her into the building here, uh, but then our goats are going to be coming in. So we've got to do some shuffling around, moving some animals around. Uh, and then, of course, um, uh, Sheldon and Moira, possibly George, uh, will go back into that uh, front area where Roxy is. Uh, so a lot of shuffling of, uh, of areas, uh, which is always a good idea. People ask, and then they've asked fairly recently, you know, how much does it cost to start an animal rescue or to have something like we have? Uh, and it's, you can't really put a dollar amount on it. It's so hard because of geographic location and, and how much property is. Uh, we started so many years ago and we, uh, we grew slowly, which is very important if you're going to have animals. You want to make sure that you have their proper locations uh, set out before you actually get those animals. So have a plan. Uh, we didn't have a plan in the beginning, but we made it work. Um, but if we had done it again differently, uh, we've learned quite a bit over the years about how to build buildings and uh, building them side by side, making the pens, having drainage run off a building in the proper location, which is something you know you don't necessarily think of. Um, so if you're planning on doing it, just uh, put a plan together first. I was just heading out and I forgot about little Hugo here. Hey buddy, how you doing? Hi. Hi. What are you doing? Are you shy today? Last week he wasn't shy at all. He came out for the pets. Come on, bud. Now, Hugo was a house pet and he is a fixed male. Uh, now, uh, somebody had commented, uh, I believe the name was Yellow, and said, oh, he was so cute, little Hugo. Please, somebody adopt him so he can go into uh, be an indoor cat again. Uh, and we do adopt the rabbits out, and uh, sometimes, actually more often than not, uh, they actually come from houses where they used to be a, uh, a pet rabbit. So, are you a little shy today, buddy? You were all about the pets last week. Hey, yes, you were. Okay, well, we'll leave you to it. What are you cackling about? <laughs> Got one hen. The rooster's, the rooster's there in the back, and we've got one hen. Maybe, maybe she's just getting ready to lay an egg. <laughs> uh, you can see an egg over in the building right there. What are you going on about, girl? That's it? You just needed to voice your opinion? There you are. Hey, boys. And there's the donkeys. How are you guys making out up here? You doing all right? So you're just hanging at the feeder. Donkeys were inside. Uh, so Chinook uh, on the left and Esme on the right. Uh, Chinook's a little pudgy. <laughs> you could almost say that he's pregnant, but no, he's not pregnant. <laughs> Hi, Billy. What's up, bud? Uh, so the horns, uh, the horns on a goat uh, work about the same uh, same fashion. Uh, so when taking it off, of course, you can see uh, Carl has broken both of his uh, tips off, uh, and he did have a little bit of bleeding on there uh, when that happened. Uh, but uh, we put some antiseptic on it, and it was good. Uh, Billy, you can see the horn on his right is a little bit smaller, so he just kind of snapped off the tip on his. Uh, so they do that. Boys, they bash things. 
uh, especially when they are intact and not fixed. Uh, so yet another reason to, uh, uh, if you're going to have goats in with uh, young ones and other people that aren't familiar with goats, uh, it's a good idea to, to either have females or to have fixed males. Well, the time has come. The end of the video, yet again. <laughs> so, uh, I hope you found this uh, video useful and helpful. Uh, if not, hope you found it entertaining. I try to keep these videos as entertaining, educational as possible. Uh, so, this concludes this video. I hope you all have a wonderful week. Stay safe. And we will see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.